it's like uh, 7, 7.20 in the morning. The 9th of November? It's really early. It's really quiet right now. But I've noticed that uh, having a dog with you when you go places is kind of like having like a free to roam. You can be that weirdo just walking at like four o'clock in the morning as long as you have a dog with you. <laughs> You're like, oh, it's, it's normal, you know? Um, it's been a theory and I think it's definitely been proven. I've walked at the weirdest times to the weirdest places with my dog and no one even looks at me. I'm like, oh, she's just, she's just taking care of her dog. So, it's beautiful out right now though. The sun's coming up. It's uh, fucking Monday. It's Monday, November 11th, 2024. Um, it is foggy out here today. It looks like winter is coming. I'm in Cumming. I'm in Forsyth County, Georgia. I don't really come to this side of town because I don't really have any business over here. I don't work out here. Um, my gym's not out, like, I only come out here for special circumstances. And today is one of those special circumstances. But it's looking like I don't know how the weather is gonna be today. It's looking like it wants to be cold. It's been kind of rainy. I'm going to um, this ice cream shop to meet up with a few, a couple or a few former coworkers for a celebratory ice cream party. Um, if anyone's been, most, most of you, I, I guess, was have been following along, but way back in the beginning of this year, long story short, I was a part of um, a grand opening for a Southern style like restaurant. Myself and like hundreds of other people. Um, and this was like in February. And throughout the months, they have been just terrible, terrible business practices. She's like, that shit crazy but anyway they just um they just shut down <laughs> bless their heart but their business the owner and her son very toxic family 
bless their heart, their business is now shut down, probably because they're toxic people, um, you know? And it was always a joke between a couple of us that she wouldn't make it past her first year and that on the day that their business, is, their business closes, that we would all go out for ice cream. And there's an ice cream shop directly across the, uh, like, way. It's like in a shopping center from the restaurant. So we, we're all gonna, just gonna eat ice cream. Just some petty bullshit. <laughs> we're all gonna trauma bond over this. And it's gonna be fucking awesome. Um, so that's what I got going on right now. But they don't open for a few hours. So I'm gonna go get some food, some lunch, and then just chill with my dog and see if they're even gonna open because it's a little we're right on the cusp it's so funny how they opened in March and they actually closed a couple weeks ago they closed October 29th they didn't even make it past like seven months bro she was going all out working us all to the bone all kinds of wasn't paying us on time. That's the part that really kind of blew me. Wasn't even paying us on time. So, yeah. Best of luck to them. Good riddance. It's gone. Donezo. Adios. 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 All right. Shadow I really want some ice cream. Because I do. I'm a YouTuber. I have invited him. I have did you vote? Come in. Yeah, I did vote. Oh, I can't remember. Can I ask name. who you voted for? I can't tell you that. Okay. Are you happy with the outcome? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I think you know who you we voted for. <laughs> Sorry that our borders are closed and my job is safe. Sorry for these tax cuts. Oh. Money season, money what? season. Is that, that's what uh, the presidency means to you? No tax that's Hell what it means yeah, to you? no tax on tips is crazy. As my as a server, as my profession, that's all I've ever wanted. If someone tips me 20 bucks, yeah, he is my guy. If someone tips me 20 bucks on a $40 tab, I'm going to take home that full 20 bucks. I feel like that's important. Can I use this video on my YouTube Absolutely. channel? Absolutely. Everyone should go and vote. Doesn't matter who you vote for, you should just vote. Yeah. Important. Oh, should I ask what generation you're part of? Ask how old you are? Uh, I'm 20 years old. 20 years old. Okay, thank you. Did you vote? I did. Who did you vote for, if you want to say? Harris. Harris. Are you happy with the outcome of this election? I am, because I'll be laughing at some of y'all's faces <laughs> a little bit. What, so, is yeah. this, what does the outcome of the election mean to you? Um, it doesn't mean anything. I'm just, I'm just here. I'm just here. I don't know how to answer that. Or what does it mean for you, I guess? Like, what will be, uh... Okay. What will be different now for you? Um... I don't forget. Too tough question? Okay. Yeah. Cool. I don't want to say too many words. Don't want to say too many words? Too many words. I feel that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for... You're welcome. Can I use this video? Sure. Thank you so much. <laughs> what generation are you part of? Uh, Gen Z. You're 21? 20? 20. 20. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. I like your sweater. over because this moon is I can't even like capture it really are you for real wow that's crazy
Oh my god. a video I just remembered something uh, that I wanted to get on camera <coughs> because I thought it was fucking funny what day is it I just got off work I don't know what day it is I think it's Sunday Sunday it's November 17th 2024 it's like 7 10 10 after 7 in the morning it's damn near full moon. That moon is looking so beautiful. Oh my god. The pictures don't even do it justice. Um, so, I'm taking my van in to my mechanic. I think I can call them my mechanic now because I've gone to this specific um, Two Brothers Auto. I'm, I'm going to put them out there because they deserve all the credit in Alpharetta. Um, I've gone to them several times before when I had my old van. And um, so I decided, you know what? I've been procrastinating. Since I actually bought this van in June, I've been meaning to... Am I in the spot too much? I am in the spot. Like way over the line. Oh my god. like leave some room for the other people right okay that's good um i've been meaning to take my car my new van up to my mechanic um but it's been like i've been procrastinating because uh so they're in alpharetta and when i had my last van i lived uh lived i worked in forsyth county which is closer to Alpharetta. Right now, since I got into this van, I don't work in Forsyth County anymore. I work in Dawson County. I literally have no reason to be south of Dawson County at all. Um, except for like my post office, my, my mailbox. Um, so I haven't gone down to Alpharetta to get my mechanic to look at him. Well, I finally called him. I finally called my guy up there and Bro, you know what he told me? When he was so happy that I got a new van, finally. But when I told him what kind of van I got, he was very, very sad. He became, he was very disappointed. He was very sad. He said, I wish you would have told me before you bought the, before you bought that van, I would have told you to not get it. <laughs> then he shared with me and I was like, oh, really? Boo. I love this van. I live in the van. And I know I've looked up um, common issues for this van, like during the purchase, before, after. And um, the common thing that I hear from people is like transmission issues. Um, but my mechanic, being a mechanic, he deals with cars all the time, all day long. He said that the Ram Pro Masters are his most worked on cars is the cars that he gets the most that has the most problems 
he said a 2019 he shared so many stories with me and he wasn't trying to discourage me bless his heart he's just trying to keep it real which is what i wanted him to do what i needed him to do really i just want him to look at it i just want him to tell me what the salesman the car salesman people didn't tell me tell me what they left out you know because i know it all looks good on paper and it sounds good you know i'm locked into this thing for five years um so i, I want an honest honest opinion honest feedback and i want to take some preventative measures um and he he felt very sad it was <laughs> he's like i'm not trying to rain on your parade but those are the worst cars you can never find parts he said this one car one guy it was a 2019 mine's a 2014 he said he worked on a 2019 that it came in it had 120 thousand miles on it i'm at 123 thousand miles so this car is basically at the same amount of mileage but it's older than this 2019 and he said he worked he had to put it he had to find a brand new engine for it it didn't have an it did, they, the engine blew out they needed a whole new engine for 2019 with 120,000 miles on it so yeah needless to say i'm a, i'm a little like it's not really discouraging first off like there's going to be work on every on every car any car you get you're going to have to put work on it and especially if, um, if it's high mileage obviously my miles are kind of high um I guess you know, relatively but they're, they're really kind of low when you think about it and I, there's still time I think to like uh, you know just go for like regular routine like maintenance checks or whatever the fuck that people do to make their cars I was like try and make this car last as long as my last car you know what he said he said you would have been better off staying in your Econoline <laughs> I was like no don't tell me that don't get me wrong that van was the shit. They don't make them like that anymore. 1991 Ford Econoline 350. They don't, they literally don't fucking make them like that anymore. So he was probably right on that. But damn, why are you hating, dog? Like, this is my home. Like, it's already said and done. So like, let's just try and, try and help me make this uh, last as long as the last van. I mean, so I'm bringing it in on Tuesday. That's probably the biggest news I have. I don't have anything else going on. Um, it's not discouraging. If anything, I consider it a challenge. Like, um, you know, they told me that I wasn't supposed to be, by they, I mean like the people, most general people, if they, they find out that the car I was, the last van I was in was 33 years old and I was driving it across the country multiple times. Um, after that, you know, 30, like last three years I've been driving it uh, across the country and it's over 30 years old. And people thought I was crazy. People said I should get, give up that car, sell it, get rid of it, it's junk. And I did pour, I, I didn't really pour, I, I invested a lot of money into that van because it, it was, it's a necessity for me, it's, it's where I live, you know? Um, I'm not paying rent, I'm, I'm paying maintenance for my van, I'm, you know, like, uh, and my car note, so technically I am paying rent. But my last van I owned, and you know, I feel like if I would have kept up with it, uh, just like better if I had more money if I had more money to pour into it would have lasted longer uh, it would have had a much longer life I feel like the person I sold it to is still driving it around it's still a drivable car um, so I'm gonna try and do that with this one I'm gonna try and see if I can but you know I'm obviously I'm not hoping for um, I, it'd be really lucky if I got 33 years out of it <laughs> I'm not you know, thinking that it's gonna last that long, but I wanna try. You know, I feel like we should we should aim for 33 years. You should make every car that you have, you, you want it to last forever, really. I don't, I don't get rebuying cars or buying multiple cars. Buying multiple cars, okay, I get it. If it's like a, a hobby thing, but you, you don't buy it so you can get rid of it. You buy it so you can have that car. You can, forever so try and like yeah so that's the goal sounds ridiculous but that's the goal and i know we might just get lucky and end up having it be like a 20 20 more years on this car or something like that which is still pretty fucking good but he was not happy with me okay i'm just rambling uh what else i got that's it i work i sleep i'm at the grocery store and i got i go back to work later thanks for watching